What's up YouTube? Welcome to the video. Jules here, personal trainer, manager, Byward location. Byward Ryan. Byward Ryan. This is his name for today. <laughs> B-Rai. It's a new nickname. Here we go. We just created it. One of my clients calls me Downtown Brown. Downtown Brown. That I mean, that works. No. That works. <laughs> You're like, that. I don't like it. No. <laughs> so anyway, today's video, we're going to talk about fitness hills that we would die in die on what does that actually mean explain that simply. yeah so basically what i mean is what is one thing that you not refuse to but is something that you hold to you hold strong values yeah to. yeah like you you're you're like no this is what it is and I'm, I'm gonna die on this hill like your opinion or your view of that particular topic is yeah. not going to change my mind exactly so what would be something you die on a hill from that's hard it's hard to like i have many i die on all the hills <laughs> i have many the most broad one i think we would agree on is only certain diets work any particular focal yeah. nutritional piece of information that this is the yeah. only way to lose oh, weight yeah is ridiculous yeah, so, so the perfect example is like... Ketosis is the only way to lose weight. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let's say you're at, you're at a party or we're at a party and then and, and we overhear somebody talking about ketosis, the ketosis diet and how amazing it is and how it's the only way to get results and weight loss and da-da-da and da-da-da. And like, I think me and Ryan would both look at each other and be like, we're going to go challenge this person's beliefs. Yes, we're going to ruin our <laughs> night and go argue with the guy. <laughs> Just because he's spewing... We're willing to die on it. Like he's spewing information that could potentially... Misinformation. Yeah, exactly. It's like information that could potentially... Hurt someone hurt else somebody's who follows it. journey in, in like weight loss or like change somebody's digestive system or like... like it, because it, it's not fit for everyone. Yes, it may work for some, doesn't mean it works for everyone. Ketosis will work for everyone. Yes. For immediate weight loss. And the only reason is most people are just changing their entire life, eating a particular way that they've never eaten before. They've cut out a ton of refined yeah. carbs, which are usually calorie dense and not fulfilling and then they lose weight. But most, I would say 95% of people on ketosis cannot sustain that way of eating Lifestyle. long term, or they end up hurting their digestive system that ends up causing them distress and they're not sure what to do anymore. And I've had this happen. Yeah. So yes, I'll argue with that until I'm red in my face. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's like, it's definitely one heel. What's another? Uh, like there's, like uh, there's a lot of like nutrition thing. Like it's, I would say most of it's nutrition. Like I, diet, diet sodas or like zero calorie drinks. Like you shouldn't be drinking them. They're bad. They're, they're gonna give you cancer. I'm like, okay, hold on. Like <laughs> you know what bothers me about that? People will sit there and say, our artificial sweeteners will give you cancer. This will give you cancer. And there's really been almost no cancer linked to yeah. aspartame consumption. Yeah. Um, but then people will be like, oh, meat causes cancer. And they'll do all of these studies that show, well, if you eat a bunch of junk meat and you eat a bunch of uh, cured meats that are high in nitrates, high in this, high in that, it can increase your risk. And people are like, cut out meat. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so you're fed information that is ambiguous on how you read it and you're willing to die with that information. But if someone presents you with, hey, eat well and you'll live healthy, oh, th my genetics tell me I'm going to die at 64, so uh, that's not true. So there's no need to eat well and exercise. And yeah. It's like th the hill you should be dying on is moving more, eating better, making better yeah. decisions is literally going to combat, say, what, 75% of people's daily problems, Yeah. which is stiffness, immobility, and bad digestive system, and yep. like, no energy. Yeah. Pretty much. So I literally just solved people's health. <laughs> I'll wait for my Nobel Prize. All right. So on that note, see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye-bye. Peace.